I don't like this. I need a haircut. Okay, guys, what's going on? Today, we are going to do a, uh, a mail opening again, which thank you so much, everyone who has come along for the ride. Um, we are going to uh, also, which was a request, Numerous, numerous requests, request, what do you call it? <laughs> to show my available prints, uh, and we'll do that at the end. But first, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to open. And uh, we are going to start with this one right here. This is from China. Uh, okay. Doesn't say who it's from. Wait. It says it's for you. It has your name on it. It has my name on it. Is this uh Oh wait. I don't think that's one the, from the mail. I think that's something else we ordered. From Amazon. Oh. Okay, never <laughs> mind. That's funny. These are the hooks for your paintings. Oh. Remember when we ordered those a long time ago? Right, right, right. Okay. That's why we okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go with this package first. It is from Amy Robertson, and it it came with a with a hole in it, so it's obviously a book of some sort. Someone said disinfect because it's from China. Uh, we got this a long time. Ago. Yeah, some of these came from like months ago. Maybe a month, yeah, or two. Yeah, since yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try to put this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, gosh. So my tripod is broken, so I have you sitting in a cup right now. And there we go. There we go. That'll work. And uh, it's it's creating <laughs> a bit of a conundrum here. Okay. So the first thing here is from the Feathered Pipe Ranch. Fine vegetarian cookery. Oh, okay. I know what this is because I think I said more recipes so that I could cook. Because some people said that I I should do more cooking in the videos, and perhaps I will. I just I only know how to make a couple things that are tasty. So but that thing you made yesterday was it yesterday or the day before? It was delicious. The day before yesterday, yeah. Okay, and then she also sent me some stickers. Um, some packing stickers, fragile, handled with care. That's actually, the stuff that I sent out on Monday mm -hmm. would have been perfect. Um, so there's that. This one is, uh, what does that say? Mm -hmm. Scat boy, scatter boy. It says skater boy, but it's spelled wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is a decal or a decal, as you guys would say, as Americans would say. Oh, hot stuff. I don't know what this is promoting, but that's hot stuff from the Harvey comics, it looks like. And we got... Uh, a Wild Mike's Pizza thing. <laughs> Over 10,000 in free pizza, Wild Mike's apparel, merch, and more. Entering to win is simple. Peel this sticker, take a photo of where you placed it. Be fun, be creative. Post it on Facebook and tag us. Use hashtag stick it to win it. Winners will be announced weekly on Facebook. Sticker responsibly. Nice. So, some of you may know that I have uh, like a multi-thousand uh, item sticker collection. And uh, probably also at least a, a thousand dollars worth of stickers. And I always uh, put new stickers in it. And I don't know why I started collecting them. Actually, I do know why. I started collect collecting them to sticker bomb my my Dakota, my, my other truck, the truck that I drive in the summer. It's not really suitable for winter. Um, and then I just, it just got out of hand. And then I just started buying hundreds of dollars worth of stickers. There's another one, Rat City. Full tilt ice cream. That's for ice cream? Rat City? Come get your ice cream at Rat City. Oh, I like this one. Ravenous Baby. Got that sticker there. 
This looks like a crab, but it's not. On the back, doesn't that look like that's going to be a crab? It's uh, another ice cream sticker, Full Tilt Ice Cream, Kool-Aid. Um, and then on the back, it's this sticker here, Holographic. It's kind of cool. Okay, then we got uh, Bimbo's Cantina, got some luchadors on there. Photod even says they have a sticker addiction as well. Yeah, it's it's weird what a person will will decide to collect because when I was little I had a sticker collection, but that's just because we happened to get some stickers one time, Dakota and I. And then from there I just forgot about it and then a few years ago I was just like, you know what? Let's waste my money spending hundreds of dollars at a time on freaking stickers. It was weird. I can't do that now because I can't afford it. And then she got some of these packing stickers. These will be good for some of the props that I make, actually. So that'll be fantastic. I'll probably end up keeping one as a, just part of the collection. And then the other ones, I'll see if I can throw them on props. Same with these. I'll probably use these in mail. Prop making. And uh, I'll probably just keep one just to have as the collection. So thank you, Amy, for that and the cookbook. Uh, I have actually more recently started to try new, uh, not recipes because I'm just making it up, but uh, I've been trying to, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll look at a recipe and then for <laughs> try my best to remember it and then go from there. Um, Can you read some of the ones, not the whole recipe, but the title? Okay, so some of the recipes actually said I should probably read some of the titles. Did someone ask me to? No, but I'm curious. <laughs> okay, so the curious, the curious Ashley. So there's breakfast, salads, dressings, soups, breads, uh, main dishes, sauces, lunches, desserts, yogurt, and dietary stuff. Hmm. Okay, so there's Clint's honey French dressing, guacamole salad, poppy seed dressing, broccoli and cheese cust custard. Broccoli and cheese custard. Custard isn't that like a dessert? Like a thick sauce, maybe. Mm. Okay. Chinese vegetables, eggplant rolls, mushroom stroganoff, Szechuan eggplant with tofu. Tofu. <laughs> uh, potatoes. I like tofu. Potatoes. But anyways, I have a huge sticker collection too. Says uh, the head dog. Mine are mainly from street artists. Nice. Um, I love stickers. I don't know why. They're just, they're cool. And they look cool when you sticker bomb something. Um, so that's what I did. Okay, here's the next one. It is from Amazon. Wait, this might not be a, well, it was sent to my P.O. box. So. It says it's from Amazon. So someone must have ordered it off Amazon and then just put my address in it. Or something like that. That could be it. So I don't know who this is from, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't think, or maybe it says inside. Whoop, correct it there. I thought it was stuck. Okay, it's, oh, maybe someone wrote this book and they publish it on, on Amazon. Okay. So it says, Hi Josh and Ashley, a late Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2020. Hope you enjoy the Santa Claus story that concludes Santa's identity once and for all. From Edward C. Burlett. Okay, so one of you, Edward, uh, you are one of the names on here. And I, I'm assuming it's a children's book that you must have written and published. That's cool. And this other gentleman, Will Scov Scoville, Scoville, must have, must have done the other thing. Um, let's see just what this says. Gift receipt, in case I don't want it, I can return it. This will go on my bookshelf in the studio when we build the studio. So let's have a look at it real quick here. This was written in 2019, last year. Can you show us the pictures? Okay. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's actually quite long, but... Yeah, this is looks like a children's uh, like bedtime storybook. So I'll read this to my sons. Oh shit, I don't have any sons. I'll have to read it to myself. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll read it to Hank. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is this the guy? Oh, wait, this is... Okay, at the end, there's like a memorial type... Uh, is this still alive? Uh, I see it's buffering, but yeah, you're alive. Right? Okay, it's good. Sorry for the buffering. I don't know what that is, except for that everyone is home now, which is making uh, everyone use up our internet, because everyone's on the internet, because there's nothing to do if you can't go out. And we have... Uh, Wi-Fi internet and only a certain amount of people are supposed to be on it at a time like subscribe to it and I think they may have uh, gone over the amount um, because they put in a bigger tower so I'm not sure so if there's buffering I'm sorry about that anyways someone says reading to Dakota and on the last page oh there's nothing it's just a blank page uh, made in the USA San Bernardino California I was near there not too long ago. So thank you, Edward. Mm -hmm. This is going to go... Uh, so anytime you send me a book, which I very much appreciate, uh, those will go in the studio. And then if, uh, if you ever visit me when I have uh, my setup set up, then uh, you'll be able to see it there. And as for the cooking books, those will probably go in the... the the cookbook section, which is in the kitchen. That would be ridiculous. I'm like, oh, I gotta make something and let me head over to my studio outside to go get the cookbook. All right, next we have, uh, this is from Teespring. Uh, I know that I ordered one myself uh, based on someone sending me money to buy one of my own shirts, so I'm assuming that's what this is. I ordered this a long time ago, before I left, and that's exactly what it is. Okay, this is, so if you check out my Teespring, I have a few designs on there, and this is my favorite one. This one is uh, an all over, oh, this is. It looks really soft. Yeah, this is good quality. Um, let me, let me put this on. Um, kind of, uh, what do you call it? What style is this? I don't know. I don't know what style this is, but I like it. So, thank you to whoever bought this for me. I know that uh, well, I actually picked it out, but they're like, hey, you don't have any of your own merch. Here's some cash. And I was like, really? Smurf M is asking about the lottery ticket that you also got. Oh, yes. So, also the lottery ticket. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me with this? I'm so sorry about this. I know this is probably frustrating. But you're, you're literally sitting in a cup right now. Do you want me to hold it? No, don't hold it. That'll just, that'll just, you'll get tired of holding it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, was that you, Joe Foster? I'm glad that you finally got the order from Teespring. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, so, as for the, 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 the lottery tickets, someone else sent me money to buy a lottery ticket. So, I did do that. And I'll show you what I won with it. Another lottery ticket. <laughs> So I got a free play. Uh, so we'll see how that goes out. I can check that again. Um, I don't know when exactly. I didn't actually check. I'm terrible at checking lottery tickets. Okay, the next one is also from Teespring. It looks like the same thing. Okay. So someone else sent me something from Teespring, I guess. <laughs> It's the same shirt. That's hilarious. Okay, so whoever sent me this one, my own merch, thank you so much. Maybe I'll uh, give this one to Dakota. That's freaking funny. <laughs> it's the same as this one. I really like this shirt. If you want to get one yourself, check out the Teespring and uh, uh, get yourself one. Send me a picture on social media of you having it. I, I really enjoy when people send me pictures of my art in their house. 
end of, of my clothes. So someone says, no, give it to Ashley. Uh, Ashley doesn't wear this kind of stuff. She would wear this as a work shirt. So I'm going to give it to wear Dakota. Right you want to wear it right now? I don't know. Okay, Ashley's going to try it on. Oh, I think it's going to be really big, though. Because it looks kind of big on me. Yeah, it's big on me. So it needs to be washed and maybe it'll shrink down a little bit. That would be cool colored in. Yeah, it could be cool. I mean, if you get one, color it in. <laughs> That's huge. That's hilarious. We look good. We look like we're wearing like, it's like we're wearing pajamas. Yeah. Um, okay, so next. We're almost done here already. This one is from... Uh, uh, M. Edwards, I think that's what that's supposed to say. Sorry, I can't really read the, the handwriting exactly. Uh, I don't know. Put the first one in the drawer when after the first... Put one of the shirts in the drawer until the first one gets worn out. Looks better on her, that's funny. Okay, this is, oh, I forgot to guess what it was. This is, oh, this is a toque. Oh, that's nice. A toque, or probably, uh, nice where's it from? It's coming from uh, some British place, probably. Oh, it says hand-knitted cap. Uh, I can't see. Mailing bag, post. Oh, it has French on it, so maybe it's... Wait, is that French? I don't know. Um, oh, it has a, has one of those, those Euro signs, right? Is that a Euro or is that a pound? It has like the thing that looks like kind of like an E. It says here. North Wales. Okay, this is from Wales. Uh, excellent. That's an awesome color. You can look at this. Fold it over. It looks Dude, nice. Dude, this will make me like I look like a vegetable. I should be. <laughs> if you wear it like that. <laughs> right? Don't I? <laughs> you know, like those guys who. Uh, that one's really thick. Like, really. Why? Yeah, I could be like those guys who never wear it on their ears, like those old men. They just put it on the top of their head. You know, Bailey the bookman wears his hat, like his toque like that. So in Canada, we call them toques uh, or beanies. But everyone knows what you're talking about when you say when you say toque. Thank you. I was actually just wearing my other one that I got from someone else earlier today. I really appreciate it. Put a cuff on the hat. Like this. I like it better when it's normal, like, or not normal, like, down, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, that's the symbol right there, uh, pounds. I like that hat. Thanks. Oh, hey, Matthew, thank you very much. Okay, if there's a letter that came with it, let me just read the letter to you guys real quick. I've discovered that some Americans, Canadians, and Canadians cannot read the font which replicates handwriting. So I'm typing this in what I would term as business font. <laughs> Can't help but notice that you are wearing the cap I knitted for you with the brim down as a slouch cap. Well, this is the same person who bought the other one. Or who made the other one. The gray one. Oh, the gray one? Yeah. I uh, can't help but notice that you're wearing the cap I knitted for you with the brim down as a slouch cap. So I've dug out a pattern and knitted you a slouch cap. Yeah, this is supposed to be like this. Heck yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, 
Whilst I wouldn't ordinary, ordinarily put you in green, it was the only color I had in my stash of yarn, as long as it keeps you warm. If you don't like it, give it to a friend. Keep on posting your videos, they're much appreciated. Hope, hope you've now got, I hope, hope you now got the truck. All the best from North Wales, United Kingdom. Myra Edwards, thank you very much, Myra. Green is okay. Why I not? like the green. Why not? Nice. I, wore, I wear the gray one all the time. What's your hair color? My hair color, because I have red, red facial hair. Mm -hmm. I'm a little gingery. What do you guys think? I mean, I don't know why I haven't shaved this off yet, because I've had plenty of time. I just, uh, what do you call it? Mustache? Styling? What do you, what do you call it when someone's like a, an aficionado, but not that? What if I just went straight up with the mustache? You know, and then like had it curled up? Okay, guys, we're on the last... I think we're on the last package. And just so you know, if you're wondering about Dakota's package, whoever sent this, I haven't been able to give it to him yet, but I will give this to him as soon as I can. Okay, this one is... Oh, this one's for both of us and Dakota. Okay, well, I'll open it, and then I will make sure Dakota gets the stuff. Toboggan is very definitely southern. Oh, toboggan? So here a toboggan is... Uh, as a sled that that has rails on it and sometimes they have like a curled front end like a toboggan is definitely not what anyone here calls a toque or a beanie or a cap or a it's hat. Not a hat it's not a piece of clothing no not at all <laughs> like that's weird to say that it's just like hoodies are often uh called jumpers or 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 what's the saskatchewan Bunny tuck? Yeah. Bunny hug? Yeah. Something like that, which is so weird. Here, we just call them hoodies because that's, they're a, they're a hoodie. Or a sweater, if you really want to get crazy. But yeah, handlebar mustache. Well, I'm native, man. I can't grow facial hair except for right here and here. This has been over a month, so. I haven't shaved at all. I did cut this with scissors because it was like, <laughs> getting in my mouth but anyways so this is coming from uh, do people not have to put their addresses on stuff I don't know where this is coming from probably they don't want it to have a return address on it I have to put a return address online otherwise I'm not allowed to send it maybe because I send it as a business that could be I think youpers call them toques. What's a youper? What's a youper? Yeah, I have no idea. We call them beanies or toboggans here. That's so weird. Okay, we got some paper. Just gonna make sure there's nothing in here. Good. Okay, on one of these things. This is probably from when I was packing up in one of my videos, and then I, I took forever because I was ripping it by my with my teeth. Uh, Okay, Josh, you mentioned in a video about not having a tape gun. I thought I can take care of that. When I found the shirt, when I, then I found the sh shirt while looking for Dakota's shirt. I hope it fits and you like it. I love everything you do and you inspire me as I make my own videos. Alex2 and Dakota. Tracy Lay. Tracy Lay, are you on here? I recognize that name for sure. Well, thank you for the tape gun. I will use that. I actually don't mind doing it by hand. It's actually really comfy and soft. The shirt? Yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Um, okay, she said that she found this shirt, so I'm imagining it's this shirt right here, which is... She's sneezing at the store. Oh, this is... Okay. Let me move this over here. This is from Joshua Tree. Which oh, that's cool. I, I was going to go to Joshua Tree when I was in... Uh, the U.S. Remember when we went to Arizona real quick? We were going to go to Joshua Tree because it's sort of on the way. It's a bit of a detour, but... And, I, and then we never did. I could have... I could have hid one of these there. How cool would have that been? This is the last one I have, by the way. And this one is number 10. Uh, I will make more. And they, they all have, like, the serial numbers on them. I will make more, and I'll probably get better at making them. Like, these were just some quick, fun thing to do, but I could actually probably make them much more convincing. I don't know if I if I will do it because it's just 
fun game that I want to play with you guys. But uh, I'm going to do another batch um, at some point. I don't know if there will only be 10 or more. But anytime I go on a road trip where I'll have time to hide stuff, I will I will bring the, the, the gold bars with me and hide them wherever. It would have been cool to be able to do that in uh, Joshua Tree. Just because that's my name. When I was actually hiding... When I was hiding the gold bars on uh, on the um, uh, the Walk of Fame, I was actually looking for one that was named Alexander or Joshua or Josh, and I did find one that was someone was named Alexander. And then the rest of the stuff. This is Ashley's. Ashley. Okay, this is Dakota. Dakota stuff. It's wrapped up, so I will give this to him for him to open up on his own uh, videos, probably on a on a Madness Monday. <laughs> scrope meal, that's freaking hilarious. If you guys don't know what scrope meal is, you gotta check out my brother's YouTube channel, uh, Madness Channel. Um, it, he's the best. Okay, so Dakota has two packages here, so I'll give that to him. And then Ashley, do you want to open this? This is oh, that's nice. It's a long note. It's a long note. I'm gonna take this note off of here because I'll keep it in the uh, in the book O oh, notes. That's so nice. She read the note and now she's looking at the That's beautiful. Looking at the necklace. One of my favorite colors. Seafoam green? Yeah. Mint? What is that? Like a mint like a in between? like a mint color. Oh, I'm having trouble. There we go. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Hello, Lacey. Sonic and e Eternal. What is that? I'm doing something. Matthew is sharing uh, Dakota's channel, so make sure you go check him out. You might enjoy his lives, and you might enjoy his regular content. It doesn't really go. It doesn't really go with the shirt, but it looks nice. Do you want to? Do you want to show or not? She's too shy, but it looks good. It looks good. I don't so, know but there's earrings. Too. Oh, there's earrings. I have to put the earrings on. Did do you make this on your channel, uh, Tracy? Tracy said she made them. Yeah. Yeah, but does do you? Is that what your channel is about? Is she here? I don't know. I don't know if she's here. Daryl Brown, hello. Michelle, hello. I don't, I'm going to sneeze. It's not the corona, don't worry. Oh, it went away. That's so unsatisfying when you're going to sneeze. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. She put the earrings on? She she doesn't have her ears pierced, so she had to, <laughs> <laughs> she had to like stab her ears. Again, sorry about the buffering. I know it's, I know it's buffering. Uh, anyways, I think that's, I think that's it. So uh, I will let you guys know how the next um, uh, lottery ticket goes because I'm not, uh, um, I don't know, sorry. I mean, I, I checked it how long ago? I don't even remember. And then it was just, it was just like, you want to show? Okay, she's, she's going to come on. She changed her shirt. So it looks better. These are the earrings. It's very pretty. Thank you, Tracy. And then these tags, these multiple tags. I don't think she's on right now. But she says she has a YouTube channel, which I haven't seen. But I'm wondering if she makes the jewelry on it. Hold on, let me read this again. Uh... <laughs> no, she doesn't well, say what she... very nice and hardly any blood. <laughs> 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 that's funny okay okay so guys uh i've been i've been asked a few times probably in my last like a little while ago i had a uh um even on my instagram live if you guys don't follow my social media check me out 
on my Instagrams and Facebooks because uh, there's content on there. Like it's usually just lives that are kind of short and kind of just hanging out while I'm just figuring something out or if I'm, uh, I made this on an Instagram live the other day. So we just hung out and talked and then I just made the, this heartburn. This is the last heartburn I'm able to make in a while. This is already sold, so. But if you would like to be put on the, the waiting list for your own heartburn, I just make them out of scrap wood. So um, they're not all the same, but they're all they're all numbered um, in sequence. Although I've made this one, uh, I've made up to, I made number 24, and this is number 21. I just misplaced this blank. And then I, I got it in the end. But anyways, sometimes I make stuff on on uh, on Instagram that I don't do on YouTube because uh, it's kind of cluttery to put that kind of stuff on YouTube. So I'm uh, making what I'm making. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So quickly now, I know, sorry about my ADD. I'm terrible at explaining things. But I did say that I was going to show my available prints. And just so you know, these are all 11 by 17, and some of them are altered prints, which means that, uh, say for example, in this piece, the original may have been a little bit taller and stuff like that, but you can see exactly what the originals look like by checking out the Facebook page. But these are all $20, and I will go through them quickly with you so you can kind of see what's available, and if you're if you're interested, order from Josh at gmail.com. What? Someone's wondering how much the heartburns are. The heartburns are 50 Canadian. So everything that I sell is in Canadian dollars. Uh, that's one thing. So if you if you accidentally pay in American dollars or whatever, uh, wherever you live, and it happens to be more um, than the Canadian thing, your options are to uh, have it, uh, if it's a whole bunch of money, like someone accidentally paid $300 extra, because they bought like a $2,000 painting or something like that. So they paid like $300 extra. I'll refund that. But if it's a small amount, since it costs me money to receive the money and to refund it, uh, your options are um, to hold it for, what do you call it? Like a credit? A credit, yeah. A credit for a future buy. Uh, you can donate it to a charity. And my charity that I partnered with is We Help. And, or you can just donate it to me if you'd like. Or if you absolutely insist that you want to refund, I will refund you. Hope that all makes sense. Last year we lost so much money by refunding. It's just it's very expensive to refund through uh, PayPal. Uh, credit card, I think, is different. Yeah, I think so. So I'm not sure. We didn't do any refunds with credit card. No, because credit card just charges whatever the currency of the credit card is. So you don't even have to worry about it. Oh, okay. But it's PayPal. It's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible at this. Ashley does all of that stuff. So anytime, well, most of the time that you email, Ashley's answering all those emails. Uh, so I do as well sometimes, but Ashley does most of that while I'm doing whatever, like usually just feet up on the coffee table watching TV <laughs> or something. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But she, she takes care of all that. She's a lot better at doing those kind of, a bit of a glare, but I will try to show you them as best as I can. Am I starting from the back? Oh no, there we go. This, so uh, that's very glary. Okay, there we go. Michael Jordan on this side, and then our man, can you see that? Oh man, oh my gosh, there we go. There we go, Frank Sinatra on that side. Sorry, I'm bad at the, uh... Kobe. And then this one, this one you get like a bonus print. So if you get this framed, you can get, have two because they can cut it. Just two happen to fit on this size piece of paper, but that's that's the mammoth. Uh, he's got like graffiti on his tusks. This is from a series that I did a couple of years ago that I thought was pretty cool. Um, we got Biggie Smalls. Someone was asking if that was Springsteen. No, it wasn't. Dean was asking. No, but someone today asked me to paint Bruce Springsteen, so I may. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly commissioned, but it would be great if it was. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, and then DJ Ashba, uh, unfortunately the original of this got ruined, so at some point, it didn't get ruined to the point that it's not worth displaying, it's just 
it cracked because of the finish. I was experimenting with a certain type of finish and it cracked uh, more recently. So I will probably give that away to someone at some point. Um, then we got Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. There we go. And then Freddie Mercury. This is a very popular print. I've sold out of it a few times. Just so you know, these are unlimited open edition prints. And uh, they're, 11 by 17. they're 11 by 17. You can see some of them don't fit quite on the paper properly. So that's why they're only 20 bucks because they're just, they're just meant for you to get a standard frame and put them in there or you can get them professionally framed. Some people will get them professionally framed if they, if they feel like that's worth the, the, the time and effort and dollar. Uh, of course, we got Roger. And we have, this one is, is a uh, definition of what Ushitat means. Um, I basically made it look like a dictionary uh, definition, sort of. So it says, 1A, a maker, someone who makes, a person who creates objects out of materials using tools or by hand. Example, metal worker, woodworker, artist, glass blower, landscaper, do-it-yourselfer, etc. And then it just goes on from there. It took me forever to do this, and there is a, mis a spelling mistake in it, which, whoops, I spelled deity wrong. Uh, Jesus, of course. Hold on. There we go. And then uh, Jesus' brother, uh, Green Army Man. And little Green Army Man, I guess. We got Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at this. Ed Sheeran. Uh, this was a commission by uh, a girl who went to the concert that I depicted him in. Uh, took forever to paint this because I didn't use any reference. Uh, I did use several reference photos, but I didn't use any reference photos that looked like this. And then we got... What's this guy's name again? I forget. I'm not really into football. Um... Peyton Manning, I think his name is. Is that who this is? Frick, I can't remember what his name is. Doesn't matter. Johnny Cash. There we go, Johnny Cash. And then the Bob Ross, the Alexander Ross picture. I actually don't think I have any more of those left. Three Stooges. This is uh, something that I thought of that I thought was funny. I don't know if they've ever done a gag with dynamite, but I thought it would be funny. And then I have, uh, what's this guy's name? Larry, right? <laughs> he's got, he's giving him bunny ears and thumbs up over here. He's holding dynamite and then he's got the dynamite plunger. And then this one here, Frankenstein's monster. Does Frankenstein's monster have a name? I know everyone just calls him Frankenstein because it's easy, but, and then the bride. As well. Can you tell people who you painted those after? Oh, okay. So I know this looks like Boris, and uh, I forget what her name is for some reason. Uh, it does look like them, but if you look at some of the details in this picture, in him, like his four, uh, some of his uh, wrinkles on his eyes and, the, and his nose and stuff, I tried to paint him to look like my grandfather, and then. My grandma, or his, my grandfather's wife, who's not my grandma, but is my grandma, if you know what I mean, uh, she actually looks like, what's her name? Who was saying Natasha? Is that? Is it Natasha? That doesn't sound right. Elsa. Elsa. Uh, anyways, that's, my grandmother kind of looks like her, in a way. Anyways, I changed their ears and some of the facial features so they would look closer to my grandfather grandparents because my grandparents are really into uh halloween they think it's the funnest holiday because you can just dress up and get all crazy and stuff and uh and then my then she actually my grandmother bought it from me kind of secretly because she knew i wasn't going to sell it to her because it was like two grand or something like that and she knew i wasn't going to sell it to her for two grand and so yeah she 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 did that because she, yeah anyways very nice of her. We got uh, the rooster, of course. The joker. Lost a 
quite a few subscribers when I painted that. Someone says, will you reprint Bob Ross? Uh, I will reprint Bob Ross when I'm able to, but we're not. I'm not really going out too much these days. So at, at, at some point I will. Uh, I'm mostly just leaving for work, which I haven't really been doing uh, because my clients canceled, although I have one client on the go. And uh, basically just to send out stuff and to get groceries. That's all I'm leaving for. And Ashley is same, just for work. Groceries, stuff like that. Uh, Boris and Natasha are from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. What does it say <laughs> under the rooster? Someone's on oh, under the rooster? It's Okay, so sometimes if I don't think the, the picture looks good, uh, like if there's too much blank space, especially if it's square, or if I think I can sneak it on, like uh, maybe I'll show you an example on the next book. Like, okay, for example, this Jesus one, I could have moved him up on the on the page and then put a title underneath where it would just say Joshua Alexander fine art finger painting and I think I called this one Calvary or something I can't remember uh, um, that, that's based on 11 by 17 is an odd size but it says big color rue or big colorful rue which is the title of the painting and it says fine art finger painting by Joshua Alexander and if you frame it or whatever you can just get that cut off and then do your own thing it doesn't matter and then of course the last here is uh a lot of people think that this is uh gwen stefani and it kind of does look like her actually but it's uh maybe i should just start saying it is but this is lady gaga without her crazy uh outfits and uh makeup i thought i thought giving her a shirt that says tie-dye but is just a plain white tee would kind of uh um lend itself to her um creative dress i think i don't know anyways that's the first book or that's the book i haven't filled up quite yet and then here's the one that i started with it's a bigger book but it's the same size prints we have oh my gosh there we go this is chief shot in the eye and he is a badass he lost his eye in i believe was it in the Battle of Little Bighorn? I don't remember exactly, actually. But when I did, when I when I decided to paint him, I read up as much as I could about him. It's kind of hard to find information about uh, some of these figures because the the history was erased because they attempted to basically wipe them out and take their culture and basically uh, reduce it to uh, nonsense as if it was just worthless. So a lot of the history is gone and it's hard to, to know much about uh, many people in general in Canada as well. Uh, we got, <laughs> this is heavy, we got a little bird here. This is the only female native person I have painted. Um, and then we got probably the most famous, I would say arguably the most famous uh, prominent native figure Sitting Bull. I painted him three times, I believe. And then we got... There we go. Wow, this is... That's better. And at the time that I made these prints, I didn't think about moving them up and then putting a title on the bottom, so that's how they are. But you, any professional framer will be able to cover all that up for you, or you can even, you know, cut it to whatever size that you need. And then right here, uh, this is, can you hand me that? This right here is uh, on, on my, I don't, is this inverted for you guys? I don't know. This right here is, uh, actually I'm, I'm a, I almost said I'm a, I'm related to him, which I, I am, but uh, what do you call it? Descendant of him. And this is uh, Chief Bobtail. I had this uh, joke where I'd say, and Bobtail's your uncle. But anyways, that's Chief Bobtail. And then over here, this guy, I love his name. It's so hilarious for some reason. It's not hilarious. It's just weird that it's a, someone's name. His, his name is Chief Lame White Man. Uh, but Bobtail here, I sh I'll show you one that 
that I framed myself out of uh, some barn wood. Wow, that's, that glare is terrible. Sorry. But anyways, I thought it was pretty cool. Unfortunately, the gra grass, the glass cracked. Oh, it's at the top. Some, oh, yeah, right up here. So, yeah, that sucks. Anyways, there you go. Thank you. Um, okay, next. Oh, okay. So this is the last, the latest one that I've done. And this guy recently was exonerated, or what do you call it, pardoned? I mean, he's been dead for a long, long time. But he was, he was basically uh, convicted of treason because, uh, well, I don't know why exactly, because was, he was wrongfully convicted. He actually stopped um, what they called a slaughter of, of the army. Uh, so basically what happened, there was a battle. And uh, throughout our history, um, we've lost our land mostly to treaty, um, through treaties, and then and then it was basically dishonored, or the treaty was intentionally uh, amended through its copy. It's it's a whole thing. There's so many different de depending on the territory, depending on the where where, where you are. Anyways, this this guy he. They, there were, it was a war that happened, sort of like a battle, and um, we won. <laughs> and then uh, instead of killing everyone who surrendered, he let them go. But since something went wrong somewhere, it, it basically landed him with treason because his, his tribe... I'm terrible at, at, at talking about the history, but just look up my man here. His name is, you know what's also really cool is he has dreadlocks. And I never knew um, that was a thing that, that we did back in the day. Um, but uh, anyways, this is, uh, oh, now I'm blanking on his name. What is this again? Dang it. What the heck is his name? I know what his name is. Does anyone know who this is? Here, let me see your phone real quick. Google. Pound maker. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Kathleen. That's exactly. I don't know why. I was for some reason I was getting mixed up with Bobtail because I was, I just was talking about Bobtail for a while with that picture. Yes, Pound maker. So Pound maker is uh, was recently uh, pardoned by our current prime minister. Okay, and then here. We have another Johnny Cash. This one is um, his one of his mug shots. I actually still have the original available. It's a 36 by 48. It's in red gear. It used to be displayed in uh, uh, an entertainment conglomerate type thing. One of my friends, they had a gallery slash DJ slash clothing making place it was a pretty cool place but the landlord kicked them out so anyway she has has the original along with some other ones uh einstein of course this is another popular print uh i think it's pretty cool um this is the only print of einstein i have i always get questions if i have prints of the other signs i do not and then tesla right here i'm not sure if i have very many of these ones left but Tesla, that one I painted at a gallery, um, sort of a show, not really a show, but I painted it live at a gallery. And then this is part of that series with the, the mammoth, or the mastodon you saw earlier. This is a TV with static. I think I called it static. This was like, this painting is so heavy. It's like, it's very heavy because that took a lot of splattering. I literally just... This one is called Seeing is Believing, so you can see the reflection in his glasses and also his thought bubble are, are kind of the same thing, it's just a bunch of graffiti. And then, sorry if I'm going slow for you guys, uh, we have Audrey Hepburn here, I called that one Flirt. Um, and then here we have Marilyn Monroe, and I call this one Getting Ready. 
And you can see on the bottom there, I did put their titles and stuff in there. And it can be framed like that, or it can be framed by cutting that off. And then another Marilyn Monroe. This was a commission for a person who actually came into one of the galleries I'm in and asked uh, if they repair old, like, antique picture frames. And then one of the salespeople pointed at me, and I was like, what? Uh... Sure, I guess I could and then I ended up fixing it um, Which is something I had never done, but it turned out good. You couldn't even tell That it was fixed. I was very impressed with my own work because I had never done that with especially with this type of frame It was very ornate anyways from there he found out that I was an artist and then he got me to paint this painting for that picture frame that I fixed that frame came off another painting but then he he liked my art so well that he was like I want you to paint a picture for this frame and then he he was a big fan of Marilyn Monroe so he did that and then he also bought um uh a limited uh, like a a one of one um print of the Johnny Cash mugshot as well which was pretty cool it came with the, like a steel frame and stuff with with like it was cool. It was embellished and stuff. It, it was pretty awesome. Anyways, this is Tupac. This is a collaboration between Day One, who you may have met on my vlog, and then my friend Stephanie. And then here we have Biggie Smalls and Biggie Smalls again. This one here, Saturn Gallery in BC. And this one here, I think, I think I donated this one to charity. I don't remember though. Then right here we got Tom Petty. There we go. Tom Petty. And then this Spaceman right here. Josh, are all these prints finger paintings? And we have here uh, Kurt Cobain. This one's called Unplugged. That was a suggestion. That, that title was a suggestion by Dakota. You may know that Dakota is a huge fan of Nirvana. I am as well, but Dakota is like... He loves, loves, loves Nirvana. I do as well, but I mean, you would you would call him a fan before you would call me a fan, even though I would argue that I'm just the biggest fan. It's just maybe not as obvious, but uh, Kurt Cobain, and it has his shirt. It says My Hands Gallery. <laughs> and then uh, many might not be familiar with this guy. This, he's uh, part of the tragically... Hip, right? <laughs> Why am I blanking again? This is, uh, uh, when did I paint this? I painted this when he died. But anyways, um, yeah, this, like, Canada, like, had, like, a moment of silence when he died. It was a sad day. But he's Canadian, and his name is, uh... Why am I blanking again? I feel embarrassed now. Go Gord Downey. Yeah. There we go. God damn it. I'm like, what is it? I'm like, I'm like, it's Gord something. Gord, Gord, Gord. I didn't want to just say, it. yeah, you guys know Gord, right? But anyways, Gord Downey, he uh, died from cancer, unfortunately. And this was from his last concert. And this is right before he walked off stage. Uh, they televised the, the concert for free. And it was, uh, it was pretty good. Then we got Jimi Hendrix. This was, uh, I think, my third painting mm -hmm. of Jimi mm -hmm. Hendrix. Scrap girl, just about took your connect card away there. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I know, I know, it's just for, when I'm trying to explain things, I just, my ADD is terrible. It makes me forget things, and then I'll start talking about other stuff, and then, yeah. I just go off the route. And then Wonder Woman. I don't paint uh, superheroes anymore, but I do have some prints left over. You said it was buffering when you, when someone asked, are they all finger painted? Oh, yes. They are all finger painted. Uh, except for this one right here. One left, but this is one that I used, I used to paint cartoons and stuff like that back before I knew about copyright stuff. But, uh... I mean, this image doesn't exist. I just made up my own thing, and I thought it was really cool, but... 
Anyways, and then on the other side, I have Deadpool. I like Kylo Ren. There we go. And Anakin Skywalker. And a pod racer. And then this is... I repainted the original of this, or I started painting over it again, but this is uh, like the same painting, but I'm adding stuff to it and making, changing the colors and stuff, but this is Muhammad Ali and Sonny Liston. Sorry, I know that's hard to see. I apologize for that. And then over here, we have Muhammad Ali. This is my favorite, I, I often say this is my favorite painting I've ever painted, but Muhammad Ali, Versus, uh, what the heck was this guy's name? Floyd Patterson. That's who it is. Floyd Patterson. And this was, uh, was, uh, let's see here. I think the third Ali painting I've done. Or no, I think it was my fourth, actually. And then Skull, I call this one Skull 1 for some reason, even though it's definitely not the first Skull I ever painted, but um, it's pretty good. This one I donated to charity as well. And then this Elk here. I don't do very many animals. I don't really like doing animals, but this was actually, this is probably my favorite animal one I've done. It's not really my style, but I was kind of experimenting with watered down paint and I really liked how this one came out. Then right here, if you watched my brother at all, uh, my brother Will, I gave him this painting and he has it in his house. And then here's another one. I don't really do airplanes and vehicles too much either. This was actually a collaboration. Every once in a while I do as a, as a one-off, but this is uh, the Sanity Sam. And you can see in the mountains, the J plus A. This was like a, a series that I did. I did him, Bugs Bunny, and Sylvester. But I only got prints of this one for some reason. I don't know why. And then here, we have our man of comedy. I painted him three times. So this one, I don't actually know if, uh, like his gags that he did were, uh, I guess, kind of funny. I don't really, I mean, I enjoy watching the old timey comedy, but I don't know if he actually did the, the hat flippy thing. And then on this page, I don't. Can you see that he's has he's got an exploded cigar? I don't know. I'm trying to show oh there we go. And then over here we have um I don't so I don't know if he did the exploding cigar and I don't know if he's done the steering wheel coming off the car gag. I don't even know if he's done any gags with cars. I mean I'm sure he must have. But anyways, these are my three um, Charlie Chaplin pieces. Um, I just kind of made up my own gags for him to do. I just thought they would be funny. And then here we got Steven Tyler. Uh, I, I moved up the picture on the piece of paper, but then I never wrote anything on the bottom for some reason. And then Bob Marley right here. And then, there you go. I should do a Marx Brothers. I get told that all the time. Um, and then we got Clint Eastwood. I've done Clint Eastwood a bunch of times, but these are two that I've done here. This one I, is one of the earlier ones. I painted this same picture three times. <laughs> Uh, and then that is all of them.
So I will stay on for just a couple more minutes and answer some questions and stuff if there are any. Um, just so you know, if you want any of those, I'd really appreciate it. That'd be awesome. They're twenty dollars, and you can get them by ordering from Josh at gmail.com. If you forget what is available, then just go to the Facebook page. Each picture on there will say if it's available as a print, and they can also be uh, um, anything that's available as a paper print is also available as a um, canvas print, and then you can just ask the info for that, and those go for between like four hundred and fifteen hundred dollars, depending on what they are. Jack Sparrow, I wouldn't do because he is uh, copyrighted. Uh, I would do him as a, as a one-off, maybe sometime, if I could figure out a way that it would make sense. But yeah. Uh, Christine says, I'm going to try to order again. If, for some reason, you're not getting through to me, just go to my Facebook and then go through there. And then then I will email you first. And then we'll try to figure it out from there. Um, uh, what, what about Walter White from Breaking Bad? Also a copyright issue? That... I probably would be able to do, but probably only as an original. I probably wouldn't be able to do prints of that. It, it's it's kind of iffy. Anything that's owned by Disney is is definitely stay away from that. But anything, some other stuff is is a little. There's a little more. It just depends, right? Because it's still intellectual property, and you don't really want to go stealing someone else's art to make your own art you know what i mean so yeah i love the movie chaplin with robert downey jr he does such a good job of getting into character that you forget that he isn't chaplin i haven't seen it bradley wood thank you very much i really appreciate that uh the walking dead i actually painted i forget what her name is but the little girl with the bunny slippers on the first episode i painted her and uh, I sold it, I think, at, la at the last art walk. I wrote, I wrote, ever think of doing postcards, but I meant a series of greeting cards. Oh, have I ever thought about doing postcards? Or Sorry about the buffering. I probably wouldn't do uh, that kind of stuff, but I, it, it just kind of devalues the actual painting when it comes to doing stuff like that. But I may designate certain art pieces to be uh, cards of any sort. I don't, I don't know that I will do that. I probably won't. If I was like a big rich, well, I wouldn't have to be rich, but a big famous artist, then I could get away with stuff like that. But that's the kind of stuff that, that kind of collectors frown upon as, as an up and coming artist, because they want their piece that they buy to be, oftentimes they want it to be an investment. And they want that thing to gain value. And sometimes when you, you know, you start making cups and stuff like that, it, it just devalues the art too much. And then it makes uh, potential buyers not buy it when they are looking for it as not only a piece of art to look at, they want it to be something that will be worth something down the road so that they can use it as, as a, you know, like a, an asset. Um, hello, as, as your music, as your muse. <laughs> good day, Josh. It's always good to catch a live stream. And hello, Matthew Fox. It's good to see you as well. Uh, but people paint The Walking Dead, always painted by fans, and they love it. Yeah, it all depends on who owns it, right? So, if I made up something... A character and people started painting it I wouldn't care because I'm not like that but some people do because you're losing money when someone else is putting up the art right they put up their own art sort of thing it's a whole complicated mess it can be uh, super easy to do or it can be super hard it all depends Uh, my sister has a Mickey Mouse tattoo, and most artists said no to it. Doing no to doing it. She got one that allowed it. Yeah, see, yeah, lots of people won't do that, and they won't. If they do do it, they won't put it in their portfolio because they don't want to get sued. Um, okay, guys. Uh, 
Ever try your hand at science fiction art? Uh, not really. I don't necessarily against it. it. Just doesn't really. It's hard to do that as a finger painting. I'd have to do it really big, but I'm not against it. You could do the actor, not the character they play. Yeah, I could do the actor, but yeah. It would be nice to have the world that is behind you in a cup. I would put that on a cup, but that's different. Uh, you can paint you, Ashley, and the animals. I would not be able to sell that, so I wouldn't paint that. Not really my type of subject to paint. I really like painting... Um, I like painting historical figures. I like painting pop figures, you know, stuff like that. Uh, not necessarily... I don't, I, I don't really like doing portraits of people. It's really hard to paint um, when people are like, hey, can you paint my son? It's very hard to do that because you see your son every day and, and I've seen him in one picture and I'm, or a couple pictures, so I'm painting what I see. And then when you look at it, you're like, mm, something's off. And I'm like, yeah, probably I would think so too. You know, it's very hard to do that um, because... You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, that's the kind of thing it is. Um, uh, I was told as a child, if you whistle at Northern Lights, they will dance for you. Native Star, it would be great to see your interpretation of Northern Lights. I actually have done one, uh, which was a th three-person collaboration between myself, uh, Day One, and Delray Dumont. Uh, you might want to look her up. She does uh, more so... Uh, traditional Cree style, like dot art. Check her out on Facebook, Delray Dumont. She used to have a native art gallery that I was part of. And then she closed that down when her husband passed away because she had to deal with all that stuff. And uh, unfortunately she had to close her gallery, but we did a piece together. You might be able to find it on my Instagram, my hands gallery, if you scroll down far enough. And it's, it's, a, it's a dancer dancing with the with the Northern Lights, and it's called, I believe it called the painting, um, Dancing with Our Ancestors. All the dots that are on there are from Delray, and then I finger painted some of the, uh, did some stuff with the Northern Lights and stuff. We are actually thinking about redoing uh, a similar painting, uh, and in the future, of course this, this um, social distancing thing that's happening right now uh, kind of kiboshed our plans so we'll see uh, I love the abstract pictures of people I don't think I'm using the right term here but pictures of people in many are you talking about my art there Hannah I call it like abstract realism because it looks like a person it looks like the person or at least I'm hoping it does but I use uh, like lots of color and stuff. Uh, hi from Harlan, Kentucky. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe and health. All right, guys. Oh, thank you, Cindy. All right, guys. That's that's it. We got. Uh, thank you so much for all the gifts, the the books, the tape thing, uh, the shirts, and what was the other thing? Oh, another shirt. That's the same shirt. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious that two people, well, one I got myself with someone who, who gave me money to do that. And then someone else sent another one, which I think is fantastic. That is so funny. I'll probably give that to Dakota if he wants it. And, um, which by the way, I don't mean anything like I don't want the shirt. I just have one. I don't need two of the same shirt. So I hope that doesn't hurt whoever bought that for me. I don't hope that doesn't hurt your feelings. It's not meant to. It's just, uh. May as well put it to use, because um, Ashley's not going to wear it as as a shirt. But uh, maybe she could wear it as a night shirt if you wanted to. But uh, she's not going to wear that as her regular walking around clothes. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, this was the other thing the 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 cap, the toque. So, anyways, guys, it's been real hanging out with you guys. <laughs> uh, Stay tuned for more vlogs and all that. Check out the social media. And have a good night. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't cough in people's faces. Shouldn't do that anyways, but it's a dangerous time. So see you later. Have a good day or night or evening, whatever, wherever you're at. Anyways.
Peace.